Welcome to another video. Today, we will talk about GTA 6 leaks and news. Also, we will look into GTA 6 maps and how fans are making new Vice City remastered modes while waiting on GTA 6 to be released. While the Grand Theft Auto 6 mapping community continues to build the new Vice City map before the official reveal. A Rockstar Games employee has reportedly leaked an overview of the map on 4chan. The leaked map included three major islands and a few minor land masses. Although Rockstar Games' latest project suffered many leaks, the map remains a mystery for the player base. As is customary, the new map in question was also scrutinized by many. Readers are advised to take the following information with a grain of salt as it did not come directly from Rockstar Games' official media sources. On January 25, 2024, an ex-user named Nick shared the above GTA 6 leaked map, claiming that an anonymous Rockstar Games employee shared it. Although the user first denied its authenticity, they immediately contradicted it by saying the map seemed legit. While the Grand Theft Auto 6 mapping community initially disclosed that the upcoming game would have a single landmass, the new map shared by Nick had three. The biggest island on the top left corner appears to be the state of Leonida or, as it is popularly known, the HD Universe Vice City. It had the iconic Vice City Beach Island from the 3D Universe map. Details about the other two islands from the leaked GTA 6 map are still a mystery, as neither Nick nor the anonymous Rockstar Games employee mentioned it. Although the ex-user did not share the original link to the 4chan thread, they seemed very certain about its authenticity. Multiple users denied Nick's claims regarding the map, however, they stood firm with their statement. On the other hand, the Grand Theft Auto 6 mapping community recently shared a satellite view of Vice City. This version of the map is being developed by a user named Dubza and their team and is reportedly based on the September 2022 leaked files and the visuals shown in the first trailer. Fans have taken it upon themselves to make a better GTA, Vice City remaster than the definitive edition and they seem to be doing a good job. The official remaster of Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, and the other PlayStation 2 era games, is infamous for being one of Rockstar Games' biggest failures. It's been cleaned up a bit since and is now proving very popular on Netflix, but it's still far less than such a classic game deserves. It's unfortunate because next year's GTA 6 is set in the same city, except in the modern day rather than the 80s, and there's bound to be a lot of references and in-jokes between the two games and perhaps even some shared characters. It is a remaster, not a remake, so the graphics are still fundamentally the same, with character models and animation that is clearly rooted in early 2000s tech. The Revolution team responsible for the new remake have used GTA 5's Rage Engine for the graphics, which allows for things like more vehicles and pedestrians on the streets at once. The new version doesn't look or play exactly the same as it did back in 2002 though, with the remaster changing other visual elements, like the water, and adding more modern combat controls. It's basically what the definitive edition should have been in the first place, with Rockstar being criticized for allowing the remaster collection to be released in the state it was. Fans stepping in to improve games they love is not a new phenomenon though, with the PC modding scene regularly providing unofficial bug fixes, improved graphics, and additional features for games. For example, Bethesda fans already had bug fixes prepared for Starfield more than a year before it came out. The problem is that not only do the fan-made mods take a long time to finish but they are only available on PC which means that the definitive edition is still the only way to experience Vice City on a modern console. 